Hey guys, how you going? Okay, uh, gone a little bit spending crazy. Uh, okay, a little bit of uh, info here. Um, my speakers that I've been using all this time have turned out to be a real pile of junk. Uh, sounds like garbage. No, not very good at all. Now I didn't know this until this morning. I went to the shop and I hooked them up and had to listen to some other speakers. Now mine, all this time I didn't know, I thought it might have been my amp, it's not the amp. Uh, it sounded, they sounded flat, like you needed to pump them up with a bike pump or something. They just sounded terrible. So guess what I've done? I bought a new set of speakers and also bought a powered sub. So let's have a look at what I bought. Now there's probably going to be some controversy here. People are going to say it's that they don't like it or whatever, but um, I heard these this at the shop and it was powerhouse in the hell out of the shop, which, well not in a shop, it's a factory, and it shook the hell out of the place. And then we had it on the sub. So anyway, I'll show you what I got. I bought um, a set of B52s for me fronts, sound like I'm talking about like home theater, but like, you know, the front speakers are B52s, and I got the Sound King sub, and the sub's uh, 600 watts, and punches like hell. Well, let's have a look. There we go. B-52s. And it's, they're not friggin' light either. They're, they're pretty heavy. They're, I mean, I thought my other ones were heavy, but these are really heavy. But worth it. Uh, they scream. These things, I mean, it's like you don't even really need the sub. On You know, at some places, I won't even be using the sub because they punch like hell. But anyway, we'll have a look down here. And down here we got the sub. Hang on, I'll whack another, I'll whack another track on, what have we got? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, Mr. Vane. Hey, I'll t tell you something else too, guys. Uh, I've been noticing lately, I don't know about anywhere else, but here in Australia, in Melbourne, um, the 90s are becoming absolutely huge. It's not just me, the same thing's happening with Steve. All of a sudden, everyone is screaming and wanting the 90s. I think the 90s now, we hit 2010, I think the 90s have become... Um, the new retro. I think people are a little bit over maybe the 80s, the old Mickey and rah rah rah. Because lately I've been getting a lot of people requesting the 90s, you know, stuff from, dance stuff from the 90s, you know. I was going to say like so, hang on, I'll load it up. But uh, I think a lot of people really have been requesting the 90s and it's incredible. And I think it's great because really a lot of us haven't been doing the 90s that much. And now is the time to sort of get into it and start doing it. Um, and I reckon half the stuff from the 90s sounds better than today's stuff. <laughs> like this one. Anyway, we'll have a look. Got the sub running down there. Now, you cannot hear it through a camera, but oh now let's get him a closer look. Now, a lot of, a lot, along line this time, uh, I've been thinking maybe my amp, my amp was underpowered and all this. So I was looking at uh, some other amps that I thought were more high powered. And I showed Steve, and Steve's been in this business for a long time, and he's never actually looked at my amp or speakers before. My speakers, he shook his head, and he's like, ugh, flat, terrible. But when it comes to the amp, we hooked the amp up to the B52s, along with the amps he had in there, the amp I was thinking of getting, Steve said, well, actually, the one you've got is more powered. Plugged it in, and all of a sudden, the amp opened up. All of a sudden, all this sound, you don't have to, I don't have to push it nowhere near as hard. And, it, you know, usually on the amp, there's three lights that light up. And when it starts, you know, the, the third green light starts flashing a lot, that's as far as I'll push it. Well, in no way do I need to even push it that far anymore. So, um, this is going to be good. I'm really going to enjoy this, but uh, the stuff's a bit heavy. But absolutely worth it in the long run. Did you hear a word I said then? I was yelling out that just the second light was flashing and normally 
with a second light flashing, it would be about that loud. But I was trying to yell at you so you could hear me. So it gives you a bit of an indication, an idea. So um, now, when it comes to price, I'm not going to say what I've paid because I've got the deal of the century. But uh, when it comes to Steve, I always get st good stuff at a, a ridiculously good price. So this is all brand new stuff and I've come out of it with a deal of a century. All right, guys, well, uh, we're going to see how this runs on Friday night at the club. And no doubt it's going to pulverize the hell out of that place. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, practice and enjoy. Uh, I've got no gigs on this Saturday, just the club on Friday. And I can't take the camera. I wish I could. But anyway, I'll catch up with you uh, next time. Anyway, I can't wait to actually film using the new system. All right, guys, practice and enjoy. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.